What's going on everyone? My name's AJ and today we're going to be reviewing the Nike Quest 5 men's road running shoes. I got these shoes in a specific colorway. It looks pretty green to me if not light gray, but the specific colorway is Photon Dust slashed Aviator Gray, even though there are hits of black on the shoe and also white, whether it's the midsole or some of the outsole. I got these shoes on Nike.com for about $50 and they retail for $80. So as far as the box and the packaging go, it comes in the regular orange Nike box that you always see, and it doesn't have any special tissue paper, just the regular white tissue paper. And it also doesn't come with any extra laces. It only comes with the same laces that are laced on the shoe. I got these in a size 10 and the box label says Nike Quest 5 and the colorway is Photon Dust Splash Black Dash Aviator Gray. So I would say the highlight of this shoe, the Nike Quest 5, is the super soft padding and cushioning which Nike has on their website. I do agree that it is super soft, whether it's the inside liner or some of the insole cushioning which just has a Nike swoosh on there and it says running. It does have a rubber outsole and midsole all around in white with a bunch of deboss Nike hits, whether it's right here, the inside or the outside of the shoe. And it does say it is soft foam. It is a little bit harder of a foam when you first get it. But as you keep running and running and running, the foam will get a little bit softer depending on where you run and how often you run, I would say. There is a Nike logo on both sides of the shoe and it does look like it's heat pressed on. It's translucent so you can see through it and you can see all the other Nike running material. Same goes on the other side, but it's a solid black it's pretty lightweight, I would say. Feels almost like a tennis shoe, if not basketball shoe, that's really, really light, but definitely made for running. I could hold it on one finger, I think. Let's see, whoa. But yeah, it's not that heavy. And there's additional Nike branding on the front of the shoe where we just have a swoosh right there. And it is tonal all around with some gloss on the back side of the shoe. It does say Nike running with a swoosh and it says established 1972. And the tongue says Nike Quest 05. And it has a Nike swoosh up there and it's in black right on the tongue. So it does have some contrast that matches the swooshes. As far as the sizing and the fit, I bought these true to size. My typical size is a size 10 and I've tried these on and they fit perfectly. I wanted to run in them in video, but I felt that was kind of weird. But nonetheless, super great running shoe, I'd say. You don't have to buy them half size or full size small or half size or full size too big. Just get them to your regular true to size fit and they're really comfortable, especially with that padded lining. Or you could always add your own insole if you have one too. If you're wearing these shoes for a fashion statement, I do think they look a lot better with shorts on compared to pants. If you wore pants with these, as far as fashion statement goes, I think these shoes are way, way too more on the active shoe wear side, like two running shoe side than the style side. So a lot of folks would probably get like an Air Max compared to this shoe if they want to look cool. But I think for a running shoe, that's not intended to be a stylish shoe per se. This shoe does its job as far as looking quite nice, but also is designed specifically for running. Now onto the pros. I'm going to say that my first First pro is that this shoe is very reasonably priced. Retailing at $80, so you'd probably get them for 20% off on Nike.com for about 60, if not 55, or even $65. So they're not that expensive currently, and they're a pretty easy cop that you can get in many different sizes and colors. My second pro is that this is a really good looking shoe. Even though it is strictly made for running and quest, you know, make your own quest, whatever quest you want to do, Oregon Trail, Nike Trail, whatever you want to do. But in all seriousness, I think that this shoe looks good for a running shoe. And a lot of people would probably agree. Hopefully they do, hopefully they don't. Just rock what you like. And along with this shoe looking nice, in my opinion, they are actually really comfortable and fit pretty well. I can see myself running a long distance in this shoe and not really getting too uncomfortable. I'm still on my pair of Nike Reacts that I've worn for so long, so I definitely wanted to try a new running shoe and this is very, very comfortable. I only had a few cons. My first con is that this is a quite unpopular silhouette. Unpopular meaning that it's not as hyped as an Air Max or other React or Vision silhouette silhouettes that you see and it's not the most experimental it's strictly made for probably just running and basic activity like that but that doesn't mean it isn't a good deal it isn't comfortable or it isn't stylish I think for some folks they just want something that's a little more hype that they don't only want to run in but if you're a running purist you probably care a lot about the shoe compared to some folks that want to look cool with their running shoes as well that don't just run in them but also go out and lounge or party in them but it's still a little bit different so that's not really a con but I think if some folks were to choose an Air Max compared to this shoe they'd probably get an Air Max but the Air Max isn't necessarily a shoe that people want to run trails or do all these long distance marathons in I think but that's just me kind of generalizing another con is that these retail at $80 and as much as we think that that's a good value and a good deal you could probably
probably go to any shoe store and get a regular Nike shoe. And it's not like there's hype behind this. So people would just be like, why can't I just get a regular Nike shoe and pay well under $80, if not 70, 60, 40, you know, just for a shoe that I could run in. And if that's your priority, then I'll just get a regular shoe that you could get for a good deal, even though this is quite stylish and still relatively fairly priced. And my last con is that this popular colorway is sold out. So the colorway, to me, it looks like a gray, if not greenish gray. So the colorway is photon dust and aviator gray. And I thought that this was a really unique colorway, especially on this silhouette. And honestly, when I looked at Nike.com, I only kind of like this colorway and I select other colorways. Some of them are not really my style, but nonetheless, currently this colorway is not available on Nike.com. So that's a con for some people because they may want to buy this one but specifically cannot find it but there's so many other colorways that you could probably find and hopefully you like some all in all i'm going to say that the nike quest 5 running shoes are a comfortable running shoe at a reasonable price they're super easy to cop and will probably last you a long time but they are not the most popular running shoe on the market they are a pretty cool running shoe in my opinion you could get a lot of good deals on them currently and i think that they're a great value what do you guys think about these shoes leave a comment below once again my name's aj thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, or even notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let go. Peace.